All right, guys, I told you I was going to make a video once I got it figured out. And I was right and wrong at the same time. So I figured out how to run the snorkel 100% without no issues, no bogging out, no cutting out, none of that. I've tried over five, six different ways, and I finally figured it out. Um, first off, I don't know if you need this or not, the... Uh, 90 degree manifold but it makes it easy to run it forward there's not so many bends and because uh the stock ones point back and you got to come out this way or that way and you got a 90 out 90 this way 45 up all that stuff and you don't want to do all that um i just got some uh fittings here some hose clamps hold it all in seals up tight uh, i'll show you guys here in a second it cuts off when you cap over your hand on there but the main ingredient here is this carburetor right here. Got the old nibby on there. Um, you need to uh, upgrade the fuel jet because once you do, once you add more airflow, or less airflow, you got to mess with the jetting. And that's what it took is I had to do, I have a size 100 jet in here. Um, I'll put the link to the description in the description for this part so you guys can order one. But this is the correct way to snorkel a uh, Chinese four-wheeler, 125, 110, whatever. Now, you can run your snorkel however you want to in the middle, not drill holes in the plastics, but this is the carburetor is the way to go. That's what you got to do to be able to run it right. Also, to waterproof these, because I, I was going through some water today about... Uh, right underneath the headlights and I was doing fine and then it ended up cutting off and it took a while to uh, Get it to start back up and up being a stator. The stator went bad from going in the water because the uh, Case is not sealed. Seal this case right here You see the uh, Gasket sealer I got on there. I'll put a picture to that right here um, But uh, and I dielectric greased everything all the connections are dielectric greased. Um, let's see, dielectric greased the spark plug. But the main thing is uh, that carb, obviously, because once you put the snorkels on there, they bog down. But the main thing is that carburetor and then up to jetting. All right, got her idling. And honestly, if it had one more size up on that jet, it wouldn't, wouldn't hurt. Um, it doesn't bog down or anything, but I noticed in third gear, once I get into third gear, it, it seems like it wants to and it picks right back up. So I think one more size up, but I, I don't have a jet the next size up would be perfect. But uh, there it is, nibby right there. But um, I'll show you guys here. Cap it off instantly. I'm going to go over these vent lines real quick for you guys. This one goes to the carburetor. This one goes to the crankcase vent. Um, if you guys run the same setup, you can see it goes to the carburetor right there. And then, uh, the other one runs back here on the back side of the motor. All right, the old phone's done. That's why she's lagging on me. But check that out. The old China boat got a phone charger on her, so we all good. Y'all be good. Get ready for tomorrow's video. We out.